Okay, take me through. All right, so I'll talk you through it and then I'll have you practice it and see how, tell me how you feel after. So what we're going to do is we'll take a, a nice full breath. So you fill up the lungs and then once you feel full, you're gonna just, oh, it's almost like topping up the tank. You're gonna just a little bit more. And then at the end of that second inhalation, you're gonna slowly exhale. Out the nose is preferable, but if that's not available, we can always breathe in and out through the mouth. So okay. you wanna try it? All right. So take a nice full breath in, top it up, exhale slowly. At the bottom of the exhale, inhale, nice full breath, top it up, exhale slowly. Well, I can say at the beginning I was anxious and nervous of how I was going to look. I know that's vain. No. And then now I feel relaxed. Not relaxed, but centered. Right. Is that a good way of saying it? That is a good way of saving. And everyone's experience is different with it. This one I like in the car because maybe when you're out in public, you don't want to be making any audible sounds, but it's uh, called bumblebee breath. Okay. So you would take a nice inhale, but on your exhale, you hum. You make an audible sound of humming. So it's a, take a nice breath in. On your exhale, hmm, you can hum. And, and make the exhale a little longer than the inhale. So do you want to try it? Okay. okay. This one makes me more nervous. Okay. It's okay. No one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you can't see. Okay. So walk me through. Okay. So take a breath in through the nose. And then on your exhale, just hum. Mm. At the bottom of your exhale, take another mm. inhale and then exhale. Mm. I would probably be more comfortable doing that by myself. In a car, yeah, but a red by light. myself. Like the first one, I could, I felt I could do that probably in a crowd. So if I went into a busy Costco or I went into the mall, crowds make me sometimes a bit anxious. Mm -hmm. I could see myself now using that to right. become more present. But in the car, I can hum. You can hum. Or sing. You're private in the car. But the act of humming is a very soothing practice. So it is, it is comforting. Some people actually use humming to self-soothe. That's funny because you think of babies right. cooing, right? Mm -hmm. When they first come home from the hospital, they have that purr or that coo Absolutely. or... So humming can yes. be a form of self-soothing. So that practice of that humming and that gentle vibration that you feel in your throat and in your palate, and it kind of echoes through your head a little bit, it's a very soothing practice. 